Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at GoEngineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can utilize a feature called Labels inside of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. The Labels can be used to help identify and retrieve versions of a file, folder, subfolders, or certain versions of a set of files. For example, it, instead of having to remember that, say, version 3 uh, of a file is the file version that's sent for review, you can label version 3 as say version 4 review. Now all labels are retained when you move files or folders. and You can have two labels with the same name and apply them to different files within the same folder. A file label is attached to a file version. You can assign multiple labels to the same file as I said. And When it comes to folder labels, the folder label is attached to a folder and all the files in that folder. So again, in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can assign a label to a file and a folder. So I'm going to start with the file in this battery AA file. So I'm going to single left click on it to select it and go to modify and label. And there you will see the label dialog pop up where I can give the label a name and also add any additional comments that I would like to for the label. And then I can say OK. Now, a benefit to using labels is that labels are searchable inside of Enterprise PDM. So, as in the example I stated earlier, if I wanted to search for that particular version where I tied that label, I can go to my search tool, click on the Labels tab, and I can just type in any part of the text that's in the label. So, in here I typed in text. Test there, and then I can go ahead and hit the search button. So you will see that it pulls up that file. So a huge benefit to using labels there is that they are searchable. Now, as I said, we can also apply these labels on folders. So again, I start by left clicking, single left clicking on the folder. I can go to modify and label, and then I can give it a name and a comment just as I did with the file label. Now you'll notice that there is a recursive box there that, I, that I've checked. If you select recursive, that just means that the label is attached to all subfolders in their files within that top level folder. So I can go ahead and say OK. And so that's how you add labels to files and folders inside of Enterprise PDM and also how you can use them to search for files. Now if I want to update or maybe even delete a label we can do that as well. So I'm going to start by selecting a file and to do this you do this in the history dialog of the file. So we're going to go over to display in history and you can see the label show up in the history dialog. Now here I can come and add additional text if I want um, either in the name and or the comment field and hit update and you will see that information get updated in the comment field. Now if I want to remove the label altogether I just need to clear the text out of the name field and I can say update again. I get a confirmation asking me are you sure that you want to delete it and you can say yes. So that removes the label from the file. And it works the same way in the folder. So there you have it. A few uses of labels inside of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.